You are beautiful. You are kind. You are always on my mind. Your name is Chain Link. And you've been scamming us all for three years. We are so close. The moment is almost here. On the weekly chart, this is an indicator or indicate, depending if you have pants on or not, called the super trend. The super trend is just three times the ATR in one direction, gives you a trend, that's it, and complicated. This is Chainlink. The last time it flipped green on the weekly, W for friendship, it did a 9X, and it also did an 11X from that point. We are so close. Now, we do get one, diminishing returns. Two, people start to learn. You know, you can't have your pants off the to- all the time because it gets cold outside. Privilege. So if we proc here or flip it, it's around $7.90. We need to close the week above, let's just say $8. We need friendship and kindness. If we get there, the red becomes green. And after that, the sky's the limit. But not really. I won't say the sky's the limit because one's creating expectations and two, friends, I'm very skeptical of everything now. I mean, every conspiracy is actually true. So I've got no faith in markets at all. Everything's a scam. But it would be nice if Chainlink heads back to $30, which is about 50% of the damage. Chainlink is the official token of the Bug Eater Society, WEF, the World Economic Non-Friends, okay? The WEN, we're going to call them. It's happening. And if you know, then you know. USD charts are useless. There shouldn't be a USD chart on anybody's page at all. You should be charting against Bitcoin or Ethereum. This is Linky Boo against Bitcoin. Now, if you see the formula up here, I've just done the full historical manual calculation. So it's just Link BTC. And it's making its way. As you can see here, by the way, I won't name names, but I mean certain Ethereum maxi discords. Guess when? Everybody came to attack me, by the way. Have a guess. There might be a tiny arrow on my screen. Maybe you can't see. I'll have to make it a bit longer and bigger for you, okay? Maybe, just maybe, at this point, people started abusing me, friends. I just want to let you know there was a point here, okay? You know, I just, I don't think, if, I don't think anybody's getting the point. Right here, there's a tiny arrow I want to show you. It broke the low. Have a guess where everybody started coming for my throat when I said, dude, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, all right? I do the research and that's it, okay? Have a guess. Ethereum maxis, that's right. I noticed that day, that week, man, I copped it. By the way, I cop it every day. I don't really care. You've got to be strong in this game. But that day, oh, that was tough. You know why? The Ethereum maxis were coming after me. I was like, bro, you, you do know this coin levels up ethereum for you okay it's literally like ferrari being angry at the tires you understand you do understand you're my friend we do understand you know why we know what was really going on i knew i knew in that deep dark moment i was like oh all they're doing is describing the candle of the cut co- the color candle right now it's red that's all they were doing it was red right let's put the monthly that's what they were doing. You see this? That's what they're actually doing. It was one, two, three, four. Four red candles in a row. Ah, that's what they were doing. It's very hard. It's very hard. That's what she said. So we do know Link has to close above $8. I like it. Bitcoin and Ethereum also got to make their way up. Probably waiting for the stonk market. When this flips green, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe we continue, go back up, retest. Who the hell cares, friends? I mean, I've got no faith in these things anymore. All I know is... Link is a large cap. It is. You know, it's like 4 billion market cap. Okay. It's a boring large cap. It is what it is. But what I like about it is that it's leverage on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So, you know, like if you want to take like little risk, by the way, consult financial advisor, go buy bonds. Okay. Sell everything I own, by the way. I don't want to hear you whinge. If you go and think about it logically, you're like, okay, I want leverage on my USD. What can you do? Well, you can accumulate Bitcoin. Okay. Is there something better than Bitcoin? Maybe. Maybe Ethereum outperforms it. Okay. Is there something better than Ethereum? Maybe. Maybe her name is Chainlink. That's the Link ETH, BTC, Link ETH chart. Okay. We just look at the Link BTC. They're all the same. doesn't really matter because ETH BTC is not moving. Okay. So that's how you think about it. And by the way, as you go further down the risk curve, you're taking more and more risk. So for example, like, you know, you might say, oh, this hot new meme coin, this poo-poo coin, 
launched three months ago. Unibot. Oh, I want to create, I want to collect more Unibots. That's like a long-term store of value. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. When they're making full-on episodes about it on all the mainstream channels, you're not early friends. Okay. It's almost game over. You need like super big money, strong fundamentals to push it through. So even though I do love and appreciate this coin, Chainlink, and the bug eaters have chosen it, it can't disconnect from Bitcoin and Ethereum. We all know we are all ultimately linked to correlate and correlated to each other. But the only way you can, you can disconnect is if Bitcoin is towards breaking the high and there's a lot of euphoria, okay? Not even money printing can do it. It's all about Bitcoin, okay? And there are so many other pieces of juicy news that is just... These are the background news that's pushing through that helps us get conviction like, okay, we might be time to go. So for example, we had a potential black swan that was happening. The Curve founder, Michael, he owned 48% of all the Curve tokens. He dumped it all onto Aave, bought $100 million worth of mansions, and then he got into hot water. He almost liquidated the whole thing and actually Chainlink saved him. That's right. It did. You heard it. By the way, like, subscribe, press the belly button or shock the algorithm and tell your family this is a family-friendly show. This is the curve chart. Have you noticed a little peculiar part here? Oh, the coin only went to a nice round number of zero. Or straight to zero. Well, he actually got liquidated. The curve found that got liquidated here, theoretically. But it didn't sell him out. Why? Because Chainlink, the oracle which they say you don't need, was smart enough to say, you know what? We might not trust everything on chain. Let's grab weighted data or data, depending if you have your pants on or not. And let's get the average price across exchanges like Binance and use the market makers as a pricing mechanism so that we don't potentially like liquidate $100 million worth. And it's already built into the code. And guess what? It saved him. It saved him. That's right. Curve, aka one of the pillars of Ethereum DeFi, would have literally gone to zero. I don't know how they weren't sweating harder. I think they were all sweating, by the way. They were like really sweating because the dude owns 48% of the coins, bro. Like you want to tell me, Pulse Chain's centralized. You own 48% of the coins? Habib, Aave is the biggest money market. The biggest DeFi stable coin in Curve. You can literally go and then ruin the mining market, the biggest money market. That's big of an issue, okay? Because you are now getting this systemic risk, Okay. It's when it's poisoning each other. It's like if somebody does a smelly fart in the kitchen and then it goes into the lounge room, but the windows are closed and it goes into the hallway. You get the point. He's actually repaid off his debt though. That's the important part. I was covering it. By the way, I'm not joking. <laughs> like I was, my, I was spinning in my chair, in my underwear, and I was like, oh man, if this thing goes to Black Swan, we're all finished, by the way. This is going to usher in. This is going to, yeah, this is going to like extend our bear market. I'm not even kidding because we have to rebuild the whole infrastructure and there's no trust. All these funds pull their money, millions and millions and millions of dollars. All right, but he paid off the debt. He did OTC transactions. And they're all going to dump in like six months when they get unlocked. Because these people, that they're in it for a 30% gain. You know, they put in like four mil. Yeah, that take 30%. That's what they're there for. They're here to collect stable coins. Don't worry about them. But you know who you should worry about. JP Mosquito. Jamie Demon said... The U.S. could raise rates to 7%. Now, friends, trust me. I love finding these contrarian. I know he's JP Mosquito, Jamie Demon. I get it. But the context of how he's saying it, he got asked in an interview, like, hey, what's the worst case? He goes, ah, oh, I guess 7%. And then we've kind of like run with it. Okay. So I'm just being honest. Like, I love getting the wooden fork out and poking out eyes at everybody else. I'm a champion of the people. But like, this doesn't upset me as much because he's like, well, you've asked me for the freaking worst case. What am I going to do? Tell you to go screw yourself? So, of course, you know, I'm just going to have to draw some green devil horns here, draw a bit of a poopy on his shoulder, and we're done with it, friends. Of course, there's a stinky poopy and you're frowning. We also have these potentially juicy news. They want to launch the Ethereum futures. By the way, once again, blue chip consensus trade. What have I told you? Go back and tell, go back and look at the chart. If you bought Bitcoin on its futures launches, you got destroyed. You've lost all your money. All right. So what makes you think it's going to work out good for Ethereum? It's not. But the good thing is it's moving the industry forward. It's going to get more money in, more liquidity in. And with that, they're going to rotate because they're going to get bored. And they hopefully buy our magic internet money, such as real DeFi like Pulse, PulseX, and Hex. And the other sweet, sweet coins in the casino that you might participate in. So there are rumors circulating that there's, a, that there's a very high likelihood of the Ethereum futures. I don't know. Take it with a grain of salt, friends. All these rumors. But look, just to tell you something, these rumors are important. Why? Because if the prices are going parabolic, people will say, oh my gosh, look how high we've won without 
the acceptance. That's what they'll say, okay? They'll say things like that. They'll say, well, you know, oh my gosh, like, you know, we're able to move so much and they haven't even approved it yet. No, you can't think like that, okay? The speculators, they dump even on the rumor. It's, look, when you have a big position, you need anything you can get just to get the price up. It doesn't have to be a, a true story. It's just, you need to get people to click market buy, all right? So that's how you got to think. You got to think, all right, I need people to click market buy, all right? It's not, okay, do I want to tell them to click market buy because Santa's coming or Satoshi's going to buy more coins or, you know, Richard Hart's coming back? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, when you have a big position, you just want people to click market buy. Retailers, and unfortunately, normies place too much emphasis on the story. The story means nothing. The price action moves first. And there are plenty of non-coincidences out there. Did you know that? You do know that. That's why I am a friend. Okay, look. It's not a friend. It's not a coincidence that we've met. Okay? I'll tell you that. Look at this. The corrupt SEC stopped Coinbase from their helpful role in helping Celsius restructure the bankruptcy to get people paid. Okay? The corrupt SEC, this clown, Hong Kong, stopped it. Also, coincidentally, the deep state government ordered police to stop charity donations to help rebuild this city in Hawaii after the fires, okay? I can't talk about it too much, friends, because they do, <laughs> they're starting to shadow ban you, so. <laughs> I know, that's, it's like, I guess, just one of those things, okay? Just to let you know, this is not a coincidence. You understand? They have so much power. We're seen as nothing. Now, they've never met people like us who are down so much, but we have such a powerful, passionate voice. Because in the world of stocks, there's a lot of grifters. Everybody's getting paid a salary to shield. In this game, we're doing it from the heart or heart, depending if you've got a pants on or not. So they've never seen anything like it. So they're like, they, they, they think there's, there's no possible way these people are 90% down and they still have the strength to go on. But yeah, we do. We do. Honk, honk. We do have the strength, right? You can send it down 99%, buddy. We're still going to be here. Okay, like I said, friends, what I tell you, I tell you so many times, they made too many people poor. And now people, men, women, squirrels, and ducks have their backs against the wall. When you have your back against the wall, watch out. You can only go one way, and that's forward. And forward we will go, remembering our dear friend, Mr. Silvertooth. They took away Mr. Silvertooth from us. Here he is. Oh my gosh. Swimming away, Mr. Silvertooth, wherever you are. We do wish you the best, friend. We do, okay? We hope, we hope you're around for a long time. We want to see you back. We want to see you in the game. So Pulse Chain community is on its way to rebuild. We can't replace Mr. Silvertooth, so we're not even going to try. But we're going to move on as best as we can because Pulse Chain is free speech. Pulse Chain is real DeFi. Hex is a way to access trustless yield. PulseX is a way to own the casino what do you think? Do you think Mr. Silvertooth will return one day? I sure hope he does, friends. I really do. Where are you, Mr. Silvertooth? We're going to make it, friends. Make sure you tell mum and dad. You love and appreciate him. Give mum a big kiss from me. Catch you in the next one.